Easy as pie here, back again with the Kawasaki 440 stand-up jet ski. Today's video will be showing you how to replace the electrical connectors on your jet ski. So here you can see the original connection. Um, and there's actually only one coming out of the box here. I'll probably end up having to open this up and fish the other wire out if I can't get a hold of it. But today, like I said, we'll be replacing this part. I was able to source uh, about five of these for around $20, so at $4 a set, I wasn't too concerned. I'm sure you could track these down somewhere else for cheaper, or piecing it together with the O-ring and all that, but out of simplicity's sake, I just purchased a lot of these. I figured I'll probably end up having to replace quite a few more than just one, so first I'll be uh, just taking this quick connection apart, putting the new set on here. Now, luckily for me, this old fitting had failed at the white portion, and if it had failed up here, I would probably have to cut all this apart to get it back on. But I was able to slide the uh, new fitting into place. Now you'll notice the uh, narrow side goes towards the wiring, and the wide side is actually going to go towards the block here. And what I'm going to do first is connect my wires, and then thread the wide end onto the block with this black end disconnected. And I ended up just using a simple dental pick just to fish this one fitting out. So now that I have my two ends, I will take my connectors and put these back together. And now that the white fitting is tightened, you can tighten up the black one. I have to say I'm not too surprised uh, if these actually fail in the long run. Um, this plastic's got to get pretty brittle in here. I know it's not exposed to too much sunlight, but over time it will degrade with all the, uh, you know, oil and gas that might be floating around in here. There really isn't too much to this fix. At most, you might need, like I said, a dental pick, a pair of channel locks to get these tightened down. Uh, don't go crazy with it. You can crack them just as easily as they cracked in the first place. Uh, but besides that, one of the tips I might recommend is just taking the battery out beforehand. It makes it a whole lot easier to get in here and work at these side ones at least. Say if you're working on the spark plug connections, it might not be as big of a deal, but in this case, that just made it a whole lot easier. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful. Like I said in the comments section, throw in any uh, ideas you might have for me to work on this guy. Thanks for watching.